Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello everyone, excited about this Blood Bowl 2020 Team League. We are talking Underworld Denizens. And uh, Jim, just talking to you before you hit record on this one, I could tell how excited you were about this team. It's rare, it's rare to go into some of these team talks this, uh, this positive. Let's go right into it. Why are you excited about the Underworld Denizens, Jim? Yeah, um, they've got a they've they've got a number of buffs. Um, so if we just look at the roster first, they can choose between a troll and a rat ogre, which means they're going to choose the troll. <laughs> he has only got a four plus uh, loner. He doesn't. He's not a trained troll, but he's got mutation on normals. So that's you know pretty much the way he was. They've only got one blitzer who's not very good at throwing and doesn't want to hand off or pass to uh, goblins. But that's okay. They've got a gutter that's got a gutter runner that's got mutations on normals, and obviously the blitzer mutations on normals. Skaven thrower who now passes on a two plus, passing sure hands mutations on normals. Uh, Skaven clan rats, but not Skaven clan rats linemen. I guess that's why they were Skaven clan rats on uh, Skaven teams. Um, they've got mutations on normals and animosity for goblins. This is the this is this is stupid that this is an upgrade, but. <laughs> <laughs> they can have snotlings and snotlings have swarming so snotlings having swarming on a snotling team is still pretty terrible because who cares if you, on your team that's almost entirely strength one who cares if you have a few more players on the pitch but underworld the are opponent like, does because they're like SPP pinatas yeah exactly but underworld are like a proper team that can cause people problems and when they get an extra D3 players in the field they're still bodies they can still lend assists um, to blocks or fouls, they can still make fouls. You know, they can they can just do things, and they they can occupy space and you know give tackle zones. Even though they're not giving the minus one to dodge through them, they're still applying tackle zones and pressure. It's it's just really it's really incredible having snotlings on a real team. If I could have three snotlings on any team, I would. There you go. Um, so that's really good. And uh, they've got goblins again. Mutations on normal. And, uh, you know, again, goblins didn't really get touched by the nerfs. They've got bribery and corruption, so they get the cheap bribes like uh, goblins, you know, so, so that's a buff to them as well. And uh, they, they get more, they get bigger star player access. They can have, they can have like, you know, some of the stars that would play for goblins can now play for Skaven, though really the they Glart and Hackflame are pretty much their best options. But still, uh, it, it's something that they've got. It's funny to me that they get a gutter runner added to the team and you're focusing on the underworld snotling. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. I mean, I would have a I would have a gutter runner on every team if I could as well, to be fair. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'd have a gutter runner on every single team in Blood Bowl. If I could have one, I would have one. And it is amazing. Like, it kind of sucks that they lost the second blitzer. Um... You know, because they, they used to have two blitzers, two throwers, two linemen. So knocking one of the throwers down to a lineman is actually probably a buff because you don't really need two throwers. So so that's probably a buff because you save TV. And then um, it really does suck losing a blitzer because, you know, you could give one guard and then one claw might eat a blitz people. And now you've just got to make one the blitzer and you don't really get that guard at help. Though it's much easier to get guard on doubles for the for everyone else on the team. Um, so I guess it's probably a net gain, isn't it? Actually, when you think about it like that, and then obviously yeah. the gutter runner is just amazing. So like you would always want a gutter runner. So that's amazing having a gutter runner. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, Jim, that's a lot of toys to play with. How would you assemble your starting team with the Underworld Denizens? Yeah, it's pretty incredible. You can get pretty much everything you would want. You can get three re rolls, and then you can get the troll. I would never, ever, ever consider the roger because of uh, animal savagery now. You get your Blitzer, you get your Runner, you get your Skaven Thrower, you get your three Clan Rats, because you've got to take Max Skaven, because they're not Strength 2. Well, apart from the Gutter, who's amazing. Um, and then the three Snotlings, so that if you roll a lucky three, you get all of them at the start of the game. And then fill it out with four Underworld Goblin Linemen, so you would have 14 players total going that route. Um, and then you've got 60 TV left, and then with that you could play however you wanted. You could get another two Snotlings... So you could have, you know, a full roster of 16 right off the bat. And then if people got injured, you could then bring on more snotlings as well. So that's okay, isn't it? Like, I would rather have a snotling than nobody on the field. 
um, or you could start with an apothecary or you could put 60k into uh, dedicated fans and then just you know get more money and uh, go that way fair enough sounds uh, pretty versatile pretty exciting stuff uh, this is a team I've never really given a thorough look to in the past might consider it uh, for the future. Anything else from you about the Underworld Denizens, Jim? Uh, no, I don't think so. That's pretty much it. I, I am. I think they're real big winners from this, though. Like, I think that's incredible. Honestly, I know it sounds stupid, but it, I think it's incredible that having fourteen players on the field is going to be is going to be pretty pretty devastating. Having a real team to back them up as well. And yeah, then, I think I think it's really exciting seeing this all come up. Cannot wait to see them run into all of the dwarf teams out there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a shame for them. Yeah, um, but you know, again, the the dwarf menace may be may not be as bad as we fear because it depends how everything's all going to be dependent on, as we say, the redrafting system. So we'll see. All right. Well, that's it from me. Thank you as always for having me, Jim. We will have more teams leaked from Blood Bowl 2020 coverage right here on this channel. Keep your eyes peeled. Thanks again, Jim. Thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.